Sometimes you can come across something in a video game that makes you feel like, am I going insane? God. Being that one of the biggest topics on my channel is unsolved mysteries in video games, today's video is entirely dedicated to the subject of unsolved discoveries. Now I know a few of us have already lost a few hours of sleep trying to figure out the mysteries of Mount Chiliad. Is El real? And just who the hell was the G-Man? Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. But today I'm going to dive into the top 10 weirdest, lesser discussed hidden discoveries in video games that still remain unsolved to this day. Halo 2 At the end of Delta Halo, the player is supposed to enter in this temple in order to activate the final cutscene so they can cross over into the next level regret. The player can also climb to the other side of the temple instead of going inside of it and sequence break the level transition, getting themselves on this platform of regret before they're actually supposed to. But the missing gondola prevents the player from progressing any further. But that's not to say that this area doesn't still hide a very strange, unsolved mystery. If the player looks out in the distance over the water, they can spot a hidden switch suspended high in the air, which is actually the same switch from the multiplayer map Zanzibar. How in the hell is it there? If the player launches themselves just right, they can actually activate this switch while still in mid-air. The same exact thing happens across both single player and co-op. And to this day, players have never figured out the meaning or purpose of the floating switch, though many theories have been bounced around. Many players believe it has something to do with the missing gondola, but this has never been confirmed. Other players believe it has something to do with the triangular door found underneath the lake on the same level, which is also known as the Halo 2 Trigate mystery. Unfortunately, nobody has ever found a link between either two discoveries. Bungie, I think it's time to speak up. Twisted Metal 2 In Twisted Metal 2 on the level Paris, the player can blow up this building and get inside this quaint little art gallery. If the player feels like they want to destroy something beautiful, they can obliterate and destroy the Mona Lisa. I love destroying something beautiful. Hey, even the Mona Lisa's falling apart. But in doing so, the player can reveal Twisted Metal's very own Da Vinci Code mystery. Once the portrait is blown to smithereens, it reveals this hidden input combination. Up, down, L1, R1. The strange part about this is that this code has never been proven to do anything at all. And to complicate this mystery even further, this code was even published in some official cheat code publications, listing the cheat code as a means of unlocking a hidden FMV, a live action full motion video. There's never been found any hidden FMV in any of the data of Twisted Metal 2. We can only wonder what that clip would have been. Oh no, not you again. Get the hell out of here. Snow. In the 2016 skiing and snowboarding simulator very ingeniously entitled Snow, the player can take out their drone and fully explore the mountain from just about every possible angle. Cool. But if the player were to hover above this random rock formation on the mountain, you can angle the camera just right and see a hole in the rock that extends well below the surface. The player can then slowly lower the drone into the rock and see just how far the rabbit hole goes. Tumbling down the rabbit hole, you can see that. The crevice opens up into a large cavern with this unusual coded pattern on the wall. What this code means is still unsolved, but even more particular, there's this QR code that's hidden on this side of the cavern. I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to solve that mystery yourself with a QR reader. I personally had to copy the link that the QR reader provided into a separate browser in order to actually see what this thing was. Perfect Dark In Rare's classic game Perfect Dark, on the level warehouse, if you were to walk into this random room, take out your sniper rifle and zoom in on this random vent up in the ceiling, it suddenly reveals this question mark up in the ventilation. No one has ever figured out any purpose or link to the question mark whatsoever. Also, page 169 of the official strategy guide says this. You might also look up at the ammo box behind the question mark grate. Pretty suspicious, eh? With no other mention of it at all. But I'm pretty sure I know what's going on here. Pretty sure Rare gets its kicks by screwing with gamers' heads. 
as there's been a number of troll easter eggs found out of bounds in their games. They pulled a very similar scene behind this gate that you couldn't get through and grabbed by the ghoulies. They famously hid a piece of unreachable chocolate behind these bars in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. And the reason why I put it there was because I knew it annoyed people. And they even put a level hidden inside of Banjo-Tooie's files called Ridiculously Secret Area. But no area has ever been found, so many players assume this was just rare having fun at our expense yet again. Tolls. Watchdogs. Okay, so a lot of gamers probably recall the Watchdogs graphics controversy. Where when the E3 trailer hit, the game looked visually stunning. But when the game came out, it didn't. Looked a bit worse, actually. Now here's the crazy unsolved mystery. The game's E3 trailer wasn't actually lying at all. Players found in the PC version of Watch Dogs that code existed for all the graphical advancements that were made in the original trailer. They just had been turned off. A simple mod was thrown together reactivating the code and all the original graphics from the original trailer were fully restored. What's even stranger is the game performs exactly the same with the graphics on and off. To this day, no one knows why the advanced graphics were switched off in the PC version, but a pretty believable rumor exists that either Microsoft or Sony took a look at the PC version, saw it was looking better than their console version, and then paid developer Ubisoft the big bucks to turn off the PC graphics in order to avoid the criticism that their console version wasn't looking too hot. They also likely paid them to enter a non-disclosure agreement to never talk about what was done. Which maybe explains why we still don't know why this happened. I have my ideas, but which one do you think it was? Jet Set Radio Future. Now this is a mystery that's always bothered me. Jet Set Radio Future, in my opinion, is one of the most detailed games ever made. However, there's a strange hidden detail in a level that nearly no players could have noticed during any sort of normal playthrough. In Kibo Gaoka Hill, there's a clock at the end of the level that doesn't appear to do anything whatsoever. But if you were to speed run through the level as quick as you can without error, and manage to make it to the clock exactly two minutes from the moment the level began, which I'm telling you, it's not a simple task. You have to get right up to this spot. And if you were to get there in two minutes flat, the clock strangely does this one-time animation. Never to do anything again. Why is this animation only viewable at this exact elaborate and hard to get to moment in the game? I don't get it. Am I just going mad over something that could be arbitrary? Or was there actually supposed to be some sort of meaning to this? Jet Set Radio Future fans have referred to this mystery as the Doomsday Clock since near the game's initial release. Whatever this clock does or what its real intentions are have never been determined. FIFA 2012 Players found on rare occasion when logging into a random game, a very odd video game glitch would suddenly occur. Whoa! Now that's a huge dude. To this day, no one is exactly sure what caused this glitch. And it appears nobody is more clueless than EA themselves. Because when they tried to patch this glitch out in an update, this is what happened. The f Wow. Maniac Mansion. The player were to move the cursor over this exact pixel on this random wallpaper texture and then click it, the game suddenly brings up a random keypad. No matter what any player has put in this keypad, the game always enters into a timed alarm sequence. This annoying ass buzz just continues to play while you resume playing the game. And when the sequence finally comes to an end... Boom. Players haven't figured out if there's an actual code to enter into the keypad, or if there's any way to actually bypass the explosion. The popular theory is the keypad was originally going to be part of a promotional campaign with Pepsi, as it was originally planned that players could find a code on the Pepsi can found in the fridge, 
that would ultimately be used to win real life prizes to players. Unfortunately, Pepsi backed out of this promotional campaign at the last minute, and to this day, the purpose of the Nintendo Entertainment System version of Maniac Mansion's keypad puzzle remains a mystery. Final Fantasy VII In Final Fantasy VII, there's a hole in the ground in the Corel prison that you can enter that's always been held somewhat as a mystery to players, as it never seemed to house anything of real significance to the player's story. Nope, nothing here. However, in recent years, a number of really odd discoveries have been found about this hole in the ground that Square has refused to comment on. Data miners scrolling through the game files notice that a portion of the screen actually has a mass layer transposed on top of it. And by looking in the game files, they can actually find the unmasked background layer. On that uncensored mass layer is this little dude. Uh, who is this? The identity of this strange metal man remains to be a complete mystery over 20 years after release. The first theory is an obvious one, that this is some sort of signature of one of the background artists as part of an easter egg, possibly left there for players messing around with the files. But the second theory is much more interesting. Players found that only in the first run of copies from the Japanese release of Final Fantasy VII. You can encounter an extremely rare random battle upon exiting and re-entering this basement over and over. The random encounter that takes place teleports you into a location that seems like it's outside in a forest, nowhere near resembling the underground hole the encounter is triggered. The game squares you down with four canine enemies with insane health that far exceeds anything you've encountered in the game so far. Don't worry though, they don't have any AI programs so they're not going to touch a hair on you while you fight them. Whatever this scene was supposed to be is entirely unfinished, especially seeing how this enemy type is named Test Zero Zero. This battle was later patched out of later copies of the Japanese release as well as the whole of the North American release, so it's obvious we were never intended to find this thing. Many players assume though this cut battle has some something to do with this mysterious Tin Man. Many players have pointed out that the skeleton on the screen behind the man appears to be of the same dog enemy type in the mysterious battle. Well, whatever this guy is and whatever he did to his dogs, Square does not want us to know whatsoever, and to this day have refused to acknowledge the 20 year old mystery. Maybe one day we'll know what this meant if we ever actually get that Final Fantasy VII remake. Silent Hill now I have no idea how anybody ever noticed this, but somehow very observant players noticed that one of the most disturbing games of all time, Silent Hill, appears to have been influenced by the 1990 Kindergarten Cop. And why wouldn't it be? Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor! While it's never been confirmed, and it seems rather odd that a random slapstick comedy would have anything to do with one of the darkest games ever made, some of this evidence is really hard to argue with. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe, and if you have any other unsolved mysteries that you know of in a game, let me know in the comments or come join the Discord, we got a great community over there. Researching easter eggs, sharing music, love to see you there. I got more videos like this coming at you soon, so stay tuned.